All right, all right, all right, I'm back. All right, now today we're gonna make a beef and vegetable um, shepherd's pie, all right? So we've got courgette here. I believe they call this a um, garden egg or some places you guys might call it something different. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna slice up this courgette and I'm gonna actually slice these um, a bit different. I need to put them in water because they're starting to go brown. So um, when you slice vegetables up, you need to put them in water so it doesn't oxidize. But this is the uh, bag that we're gonna put in there. So we've got, um, this is spring onion, we've got garlic, we've got tomato, and we've got one green bell pepper that I've already chopped up, right? And I'm also gonna add two onions in what we got. And we've got this. Now this is um, cauliflower. Right? I basically freeze my cauliflower. So I, I buy the whole head and I break off the segments and, and I freeze them. Now, <clears throat> what we've got here is some potatoes. And I've left, I normally leave the skin on my potatoes. So I've just got some potato in, in water here. Added some salt. And um, I'm going to go ahead and just turn the fire up on this and get this boiling so when this is three quarters of the way done i'm going to add the cauliflower in the pot and then we're going to cook those cauliflower through and by the time the cauliflower is, is cooked the potatoes are soft then we're going to pour the water off we're going to add our milk and everything else and then we're going to mash this down into a mash but we're going to season it All right so you guys are going to see some of the seasoning that i put in i actually put onions in there as well and uh, let that cook in with the actual cauliflower so it all cooks in so we've got onions a little bit of uh, um, yeah uh, let the onions cook in pour the water off and then we're gonna add our milk and we're gonna then basically mash it in with a little bit of black pepper a little bit of paprika it's gonna be a spicy shepherd's pie stay tuned guys and you'll see me uh, prepare this step by step all right catch you in a bit okay so the cauliflower is in so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook through the potatoes almost done to be quite honest they're actually pretty pretty soft so I'm just gonna um, cook through the cauliflower then we pour the water off and then we're gonna um, then we're gonna add our milk pour the water off add our milk get our masher out season it with a little bit of paprika and black pepper add a little bit more salt it's going to be beautiful then we're going to add some butter to it and it's going to be wonderful so guys stay tuned all right so i've gone ahead chopped up one purple onion it doesn't have to be purple but this is basically what i've done so i'm just going to add this now to the pot and that's just basically going to soften the onions up right so Go ahead, let's grab this lot up here, and we can just go ahead and add that to the pot. Give that a mix through with the potatoes. We're simply making a just getting the cauliflower um, cooked through with the onions. Then we're going to pour the water off. Right? We're going to pour the water off. The potatoes are literally done, guys. It's so done, it's just crazy. But anyway, we're going to pour the water off and then. Um, we're going to mash it up, season it up, mash it up, put some butter, put some milk. That's going to be perfect. So I'll be right back. Right. So this is what this looks like. So basically we've got the cauliflower in there. You guys can see that. We've got the potatoes and uh, we poured the water off. So now we're going to season the meat, get the meat going. And you know what guys? This is going to be beautiful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this um, and I'm going to get this frying pan right here <coughs> that you guys will see in a bit. So I'm going to put that over there. Get the frying pan on the fire. Now we're going to start this thing, right? So guys, I'll be back. We're going to season the meat. I'm going to get that going while the potatoes cooling down and we'll leave the meat to cool down. Then we're going to share this into a dish put the potato on top it's gonna to be beautiful i'll be right back see you guys in a sec all right so 
we've got the um, got the meat in there. What I'm going to do is I'm simply going to fry this up, yeah? and for this we're going to add some salt. So we might as well get the salt in there now. Yeah? So you want a couple of well, three fruit. I would say one one tablespoon of salt for this amount of meat, and I've got 500 grams of minced beef in here, right? So, um, not tablespoon, sorry, one teaspoon of salt, right? Now, to this, we're going to add some, uh, let's get this in there, open this up. And I'm using one hand, guys, so things can be a little bit difficult. Right, we're going to add um, probably about half a teaspoon of black pepper. All right, so that's going in there. All right, we can put that to one side. Now, this right here is key. This is called OXO, all right? This is a British thing, it's called OXO, O-X-O, all right? And the cubes actually look like that, yeah? And when you open the cubes up, they look like this. And you literally wanna go ahead and sprinkle these cubes. Now this is basically, um, I think it's beef stock. To be quite honest, you can use beef stock. So I'm putting a couple of OXO cubes in there. So I'm just crumbling this in, a yeah? Couple of OXO cubes. And we're frying that off, right? So that's in there, now we're going to add our onion. Put our onions in there. That's the onions, I'm trying to use one hand and do all this stuff. Right, so the onions are in there. Now we're going to just mix everything to break it up. And Mix everything through and put a seasoning and everything on. Break it all up. Not a lot. Um, and we, we can cover that. Turn the fire down and we're gonna slowly cook that for about 15 minutes. Then we're gonna add the rest of our vegetables. Then we're gonna add the rest of this in there, all right? And then we're gonna let it cook down for a further, I would say 30 minutes, all right? Um, while we add that, then we're gonna add of vegetables in there okay so I'll be back to show you what that looks like all right stay tuned okay so we've got the meat in there the meat is doing what it's doing we're gonna add our mushrooms in sorry not mushrooms our um we're gonna add our garlic in okay so we get the garlic in there we get our tomatoes in there <laughs> Seasoning is in there, just make sure that everything's clean off of this spoon before I put down. Alright, so we're literally just going to separate these uh, courgettes. Yeah? Just make sure that they're all separated. Okay, and um, we've got the garden egg that's in there, we'll slice that. The courgettes are all in there, sliced up. Everything is looking good. And we're literally going to make sure that that's all sliced up. That's all submerged. This will all shrink, yeah? Especially the guard, 
garden egg. That is almost like a sponge. So we're gonna cover this now, all right? And we're gonna turn the heat down. And we're gonna leave that on the low heat to simmer for probably about, hmm, let me see. Probably about an hour, all right? Okay, so this is stirring time. So it's been in there for about half an hour. So literally, you can see that the vegetables now started to reduce, right? So we're simply just stirring it in, yeah? making sure that it all comes together. season right all right because we're gonna add a bit of salt to our potatoes like you can see there all right that's just chilling out and then we're gonna add some butter we're gonna add some cheese all right and then we're gonna grill the whole thing together and you're gonna see this thing come through lovely all right so just bear with me it's all come to good come together good we're just gonna let this simmer down for probably another half an hour all right and then we're gonna thicken this gravy Okay, so stay with me, I'll be back in half an hour. All right guys, so this is what we got, right? So I've grated the cheese. That cheese is gonna go into the mashed potato in a sec. I'm, this is what I'm gonna do, right? So I'm gonna show you guys something. So we've got, this is goat flour. Now, let me turn this around. That's goat flour, all right? And it's goat, well, that's actually organic flour, but it's organic, traditional, um, crafted. What does it say spell? Oh, stone ground. Oh, this is stone ground rye flour, right? So it's not spelled my bad, it's actually rye flour. So this is what we're going to do, right? So we're going to go ahead, we've got a spoon in there, and we just want, um, what's this? This is actually a tablespoon. But we're putting in probably about make it one tablespoon. I know what I'm doing. Make it one tablespoon, right? One tablespoon into a glass, right? Now we're gonna mix this together. Alright, so just give me a second. I've got a kettle here. And we're just gonna put some hot water in. Alright, now we're gonna mix this through. Use a spoon. Use a fork, sorry. I'm just going to mix this through. The flour, okay? What we're trying to do is create a thickening agent. That's fine. So, this is the amount of flat, um, this, this is the amount of butter that I've got left. That's gonna go into the mashed potatoes, all right? Then we've got our cheese. Now, we're gonna use half of this cheese, all right? It's grated already. So I'm literally just gonna separate a little bit more than half of the cheese. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate some of this cheese, right? Now, everybody loves cheese, right? We're gonna put this section right here. It's gonna go into the actual potato while we're mashing it up with, with some onions and milk in this cup, you see, all right? So I've just left a, you know, left, left, left a little bit of the onion. You don't have to do this, but that's what I do. Right, a little bit of the onion in there. Right, we're gonna now combine that with the cheese. Right, so that's gonna be um, combined with the mashed potatoes. That's gonna be sprinkled on top of the whole of, uh, you guys will see that, I'll leave that bit to last. So we separate it, so you want a third of the cheese. All right, so just separate it, make sure that the third is neatly to one side and the other bits left on the other side and you want three quarters 
of the cheese right there and you want one third of the cheese right there all right i'm going to show you what i'm going to do with that in a sec be right back okay so this is what this looks like now so this has been cooking for over an hour so simply i'm going to add that mixture that i made in the glass right just going to add this this is going to be the thickening agent so we're literally getting all of that in there Just going ahead just thicken this yeah i'm just making sure that i combine it all make sure it's all mixed in and there's no um nothing is left unmixed all right so just going ahead and we're mixing this all the way through okay so this is the mash um you can see a bit of steam coming out of there. The mash is still hot, right? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add our butter in, right? So two lumps of butter that's going in. Now with that, we're simply going to combine this. Now what we can do is add our milk to this. So we're gonna go ahead and pour in our milk. Perfect, okay, that's the milk in there. Now, we can use our fork and we can mix this through. And we can leave that to simmer on a low heat. And believe me, it's gonna be great. I'll be right back. All right, so this is the mashed potato, so get everything Tough. Now this is what it looks like when it reduces the milk that you saw in there earlier. All right, so this is what it looks like. Okay. Now there's a lot of steam that's coming off of this. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add this portion of cheese. So I'm just gonna grab it. Sprinkle. And sprinkle all of that in there, just get a little bit more actually, just, just a little bit more. All right, so I've, I've, I've pitched a little bit of, of the cheese that was there, but not a lot, just a little bit, right? The majority is there. Now we're gonna just mix this through. That's gonna be beautiful. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna add the spices, the seasoning, season this up. You guys, this is gonna be absolutely brilliant. So I'll be right back, all right? Catch you in a sec. Okay, so the mashed potato is now off the fire. We're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna take um, just a little bit of this really, just, just for coloring. So go ahead and we just Sprinkle some of that in there just for colouring. Schwartz Italian herb, right? So we're just gonna sprinkle just a little bit of this in there. Just spice it up. That's all we do. Mashed potato, we're just gonna spice it up, right? Then we're gonna combine it all, right? Then we're gonna go in with a couple little bits of um I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna do Half a teaspoon of black pepper, okay? All right, so we're gonna spoon this in, all right? So simply spoon all of this in to your pirate's dish. Now I've simply got this pirate's dish here once I complete the process of putting the meat in there, then I'm gonna show you how I spoon in the potatoes, right? So I'll be right back. Okay, so we're just gonna simply just spoon all of this around, make sure it's all even, 
and looking good all right now this is really thick all right because it's got the flour all right that i put in there um and that's looking really good so that is perfect all right now we're going to spoon on the potato you see be right back on the potato now this is really thick so literally we're just gonna lay this in in clumps all right we're just gonna cover each corner make sure that it's all spoon in neatly now the corners we can simply just get that all spooned in all right so i've smoothed it off so the potatoes are there the minced meat is right there all looking beautiful now we're gonna get some cheese on there right so that's the rest of the uh, cheese that we're gonna now sprinkle on there so let's just go ahead on a decent heat i would say probably about 200 degrees centigrade we'll bake that for about 20 minutes we'll be back to have a look but just before I do that, you want to give this a little bit of a sprinkling of this here herb, right? Just give it a little bit of colour, mixed in with the cheese. That's looking great. That is looking beautiful. Now we're going to bake that in a preheated oven. All right, so let me just go over to the oven right now. Little shelf, and we're gonna simply let that bake. All right, get all the paprika and everything in there. All right, make sure that nothing is going to spill over. It's a little bit dark, guys, I understand, but believe me, that is gonna bake. And that's gonna be looking brilliant. When it comes out, you guys will see what you have. Catch you guys in a bit. Okay, so let's get that into focus. That's what it looks like. That's the finished product. And that's going to be scrumptious delicious. That's going to be absolutely tasty. Now, take a picture because that right there is the finished product looking great catch you guys in this one